Hey, hey, today we are going to talk about how to contact Amazon Seller Central and actually get results. I've got four great tips for you, so you want to stay tuned. But first, if you guys don't know who I am, if you have this is your first video, I am Kristen Ostrander. I am the host of the Amazon Files podcast and the owner of mommyincome.com, where I use 18 years of e commerce experience to help people start and grow businesses on Amazon. I am a current seven figure seller and I'm ready to help you tackle everything Amazon. So let's get started with the questions. Um, here is the big deal that's been happening with Seller Central. How do I get real Seller Central help? Because the struggle is real, y'all. It is. It's real. You send a case to Amazon and they, you get an answer that's um, nowhere where you thought it was. So what do you need to do to get real answers? Now, let me tell you this right now your results are going to be difficult. This is not an easy thing, especially now during this crazy COVID times, seller support is anything but supportive. So they don't give you answers, you, you're not the only one. But here is, these are four tips that I've learned that have been working for a lot of people that have been working for myself. Hello, I've got six open tickets right now. So the struggle is real, but so are the, the answers. So here, number one, one of the first things that you need to do Tip number one is less is more. When you have an issue that you need an answer for from Seller Central, what you need to do is short, direct messages. Even if you have to bullet point them, not long paragraphs. Why? Because Amazon has outsourced all of their customer service, at least at the beginning level, um, to mostly non-English speaking people, which is totally fine, except for when you're trying to have written communication. And maybe English is their second language and they don't understand 500 paragraphs of what you need to tell them. So short and sweet, use screenshots often and use them in your communication. Say, this is my exact problem. I need this. Get very clear on what you need from them. This is the problem I'm having. These are all the steps that I've taken so far. This hasn't worked. What shall I do next? Ask a direct question. This will probably still get you a canned email response because are they really reading these? We don't know. We don't even know if half of them are just bots and then eventually it gets to email. But that leads me to number two. First of all, short direct messages, very uh, short and sweet, no long paragraphs, no long explanations, no ranting, no emotion. This is not emotional, this is business. You have a problem that needs to be solved. Let them know what the problem is. Let them know what steps you've already taken and then ask them for a, a response or a solution. Okay, number two is keep the cases open. So if they send you a response that's not helpful and it didn't solve your problem or they didn't even read it and then they said, okay, here's this answer, keep the case open go back into Seller Central and open the case or respond to the case immediately. This might mean you have to turn on notifications for your phone. Whatever it is you have to do, respond immediately and keep the cases open. Keep them open until they're resolved. Now sometimes, which leads us to tip number three, sometimes they will answer you and close the case as if you received a resolution, which we know you didn't. So what do you do to that? At the bottom of those emails, this is number three, respond to the surveys, respond. So they give you an email that says, dear so-and-so, blah, 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 take this steps to fix your problem. And at the bottom it says, did this fix your problem, yes or no? Give us feedback on the, the response that you got. Give them the feedback, tell them it, did not solve your problem at all. As a matter of fact, it wasn't even related to your case and this is completely unhelpful. Hit the no box, make sure you leave a comment and leave that there. If, you're, if your question was not addressed or handled in the right way, communicate that to them. To learn more about like the, the resolving some of these things and the seller issues like IPI scores and everything else, all the different problems you probably are having, you can watch this video right up here and that will talk to you about the different ways to handle certain things from your end without opening support tickets. There's some things that you can do to troubleshoot in your own account before reaching out to Seller Central. Watch the video and find that out. The fourth and final thing that you need to do if you're still not getting a response, and mind you that keeping cases open and having them ongoing and doing two, three, four cases for one issue is not uncommon, unfortunately. 
I wish that Amazon seller support was as strong and robust as the customer service that they give. The customer service, if you tell them, oh, my product was damaged or it didn't arrive or it's inauthentic, they're on it like this. When a seller has a problem, eh, it's, it's not handled. I'm sorry for that, but there are ways that we can do it. I'm not, I don't work for Amazon. I can't go inside their internal team and tell them to support sellers much better, um, but this is what the fourth and final thing you can do email jeff at amazon.com. But don't do this every single time. This is one of the things that if you're still not getting a resolution, you have ongoing issues, you have screenshots. Screenshots are a lifesaver. If you see Amazon doing something or you see a specific report or you see something that, you know, the policy is somebody else is not, they're not keeping up with the policy, take a screen grab. For example, an inventory reconciliation. If you have a lost or damaged shipment and they say, well, we can't reconcile this until you know however many dates and then they keep moving the dates anyone else having this problem I certainly am um, you can take a screen grab of that and then if it's not resolved or they keep changing the date so they keep giving you the runaround now you have some proof so email Jeff at amazon.com with your more longer explanation of exactly what you're looking for if you're looking for reimbursement for lost inventory and it's been six weeks or whatever else and they haven't produced what you want be specific about the resolution you're looking for. That's really important, but also not to be too wordy about all these things because nine out of 10 times, the person's not reading all of it and they're skimming at best. And so you wanna make sure that if they get to the bottom line, they'll know exactly what you want and what you need. And another thing is just not to give up. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. If, have you ever had a kid go, mom, 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 like over and over? They'll, you will eventually answer them so they can stop squeaking at you, right? That's the squeaky wheel. So continually be that squeaky wheel. Do not give up on your business. No one else is going to advocate for you. No one else is going to jump in your business and open cases. You're going to need to do that and stay on top of it. Sometimes it feels like a full-time job. I understand. I'm sorry for that. But right now with those trouble that they're having, the only thing that you can do is keep doing these things and keep doing them often until you get the answers that you're needing. Um, for more Amazon information, for more videos like this, for more answers, you can go to, so first of all, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hello, subscribe. The little bell button that you see there, that's to hit to get notifications when we do videos. Also, join the Amazon Files Facebook group, mommyincome.com slash join with the code word join. <laughs> and you can join our Facebook group and you can ask all kinds of great questions there. Lots of sellers plus myself that can help you navigate Amazon issues. And of course, come and share your wins as well. We want to make sure that there's still positivity going on. I know it's been rough, but um, hang in there because there are solutions to all the problems. It's just a matter of finding them and executing them. Great. So next time, we'll see you next time, same time, same place on the Amazon files.